What's up gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. In this video, we are going to talk about what you need to know about dating in Warsaw, Poland in 2024 and beyond. But before we get into that, smash the like button, cost you nothing, means the world to me, really helps me out with the algorithm. And if you're interested in more content like this, hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications. And with all that garbage out of the way, let's get into the good stuff. So as many of you may know, I just spent about two months in Warsaw, Poland, and I have previously spent, spent time in Wrocław, Krakow, and some other places, but I didn't really go out with women or date any women there. And I have previously dated a Polish woman, which is kind of the reason a couple years ago I was in Krakow, although we did not meet in Poland. But with all that said, let's get into the good stuff. Yes, Polish women are attractive and they tend to be a little bit, well, a lot more slim and fit than the average Western woman, particularly in reference to most American women. Now, I've said multiple times, I don't think they are the best looking women in the region, but they are undoubtedly very attractive. And unlike some other places in the region, I would say they are actually open to dating foreigners, but that's where this tri but that's where this conversation starts to get a little bit tricky because it's very, very complicated. So I'll tell you right from the start that I feel like Warsaw is a case of the rich get richer and the poor get poorer. So if you're coming from a standard Western country, so I'm from the United States, so that's pretty much always the example I use. If you're going, coming from the United States thinking you're going to just crush it in Central Europe, Eastern Europe, blah, 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 or Poland for this video, that's probably not going to be the on-the-ground reality for you, particularly if you weren't doing great in the United States previously. Now, if you were doing it very good for yourself, then you will probably do better in a place like Poland because the higher because the higher tier women are easier to get access to and frankly there are just more of them. Whereas there are very very attractive women in the United States. Don't get me wrong, and there are very feminine women in the United States, but the ability to access them is quite hard. There's just so many barriers to entry, if you will, and their standards in, gen in general are going to be much higher than the same woman in Poland. And so that's what I mean by the rich get richer. If you're doing well in the United States, maybe not even like super well, but if you're consistently able to get seven and a half and above, well, you're probably going to be able to get nines or maybe a, the odd 10 here and there in Poland. However, if you're getting, let's say, a five in the United States, well, frankly, I don't think you're probably even going to get a five in Poland if you're being realistic. Now, here's where I say it gets a little tricky. If you're getting a United States five, you're probably getting a Polish three or four at best because that tells me a few things that you probably don't have the social skills, probably don't have status, probably not the best looking guy. And I would just say that most Polish women wouldn't really put any value on you because inherently just being American and having an American passport does absolutely nothing for a Polish woman. And you probably don't speak their language. You're probably not integrated with the culture and you're probably not going to be spending a lot of time there. So you're probably going to be either drawn blanks or you are going to be getting the lowest quality women imaginable. Now, here's one of the catches that makes this kind of complicated. So from the perspective of a white guy, a black guy, or an Asian guy, if you were never able to get a white girl before and then you go to Poland, and these white girls are giving you attention, then yeah, that is going to probably be better for you. On the same token that if you're doing well 
and in the sense that you're getting seven and a half eights and then you go to a place like warsaw and you get access to nines and some tens here and there well that is probably going to be an earth shattering experience for you now what i say the caveat is i know the asian community puts Warsaw on, well, maybe not Warsaw, but Poland on a pedestal. I want to say if you're an Asian guy, this probably is not the best video for you because I do understand that there are different circumstances for you guys in the United States where white girls really don't give you that much attention. So if you come to Poland as an Asian guy and white girls are giving you attention, I can see how that would be a very good experience for you. That said, I wasn't seeing foreigners in general, Asian guys, black guys, other white guys who weren't from Poland doing well with the local women. With a couple exceptions that I'll talk about here in a minute, but the vast majority of guys that I met and that I talked to were not doing well. They were either striking out completely or they were getting Instagrams but weren't getting dates or they just ran out, of ran out of time because they were the weekend warrior type guy, which also I would say makes you do things where you come across as more needy because you need to make things happen super quick where the guy who's there for three, six, 12 months or living there can elongate the process where they don't seem as desperate to get things done like that. Not saying that you shouldn't try and set dates quickly and things like that, but if you only have two days, you're trying to hang out as much as possible or whatever, and then you're gonna co come across as clingy and desperate and weird and all kinds of things. But this kind of leads me to the exceptions who I did see were doing well. And the guys that I talked to and saw that were doing well, were a couple guys that were mixed kind of like me. I saw a couple white dudes that were doing pretty well for themselves. I would say all of these people that I'm talking about were with legitimate eight and a half, if not nines or above. And then pretty much everyone else who was with smoke shows were Polish people. Actually, that is incorrect. I saw like a dark, dark, dark black guy who was with a baddie as well. But that is it in the entire time that I was there. And even like the day gamers who are cold approaching, they're approaching mid at best girls. But going back to the previous point, the exceptions that all these guys had in common were first of all, social circle. Second of all, the guys that I mentioned were there long term at least three months, if not longer. And then all of these guys had pretty much integrated themselves into Polish culture on some level. Most of them did it by speaking, guess what, Polish. And so as it relates to me as to why I was able to go out with multiple models, and once again, if you don't believe me, you can go see some of my old videos where I changed the thumbnails and I also took some videos down. But you can see the comments of people commenting about how pretty the girls were. But I was able to do that because of social circle. I stayed there a long time. But I admittedly did not integrate myself into Polish culture. And I've learned very few Polish words. But on that same token, I didn't bring American culture or whatever you want to call it to Poland and try and inject my habits, my ways into the Polish people. But let's be frank here. I was primarily able to do well because of social circle and because I stayed a decent length of time. So when I met someone at the cafe and got their Instagram, they could see my story for two months or what may have you. And they could see, oh yeah, this guy's in Warsaw. This guy's still in Warsaw. This guy's still in Warsaw. And Slowly but surely, guess what? The heart started rolling in. The story responses started rolling in. So if you're not able to do those things, like I said, it's a case of the rich get richer and the poor get poorer. Now, as always, I'm not saying this is the only way to do things and I'm not saying you won't be able to 
hook up here or there. But I will say, the quality of woman you will hook up with, not so sure that's going to be any better than what you're doing in the United States. It's hard for me to believe pretty much any of these guys that haven't done the things that I've shared with you in this video, staying long term, building a social circle, starting to integrate within Pol Polish culture. It's really hard for me to believe that they're doing it any better than they would be back doing back home. I truly, truly, truly believe they're doing worse than they are doing back home because Frankly, I didn't see a lot of foreign dudes getting a lot of action who weren't doing these things. Because guess what? I do know people in the day game crowd. And what they do is they troll the mall. They troll the streets. They collect all these Instagrams. And then they try and take these girls on dates and these girls flake on them. Or if they do get them on a date, they start to realize, ah, uh, yeah, you're not getting these same day lays. There's more of a courtship process. Or by the time a woman agrees to go out with them, they're already gone because they're only spending two weeks in Warsaw and not two months or three months or two years. Now, with all that said, that is pretty much going to wrap up my final thoughts on dating in Warsaw. So to quickly sum it up, if you're doing well in the United States, consistently getting seven and a half, eights and above, then you're going to probably be able to do better in a place like Warsaw. And if you're not doing well in the United States, then you're probably going to do even worse in Warsaw because they aren't going to see any value in you at all. With the exception of the Asian community, because I understand that for the most part, white American females not super feeling the Asian brothers out there. So I cannot talk on that subject. I cannot elaborate on that subject. Oh, and that actually reminds me of one other thing for the lucky people who actually stayed this long in the video. Part of why you will need to be there for a decent length of time is, is for one, you can build a social circle, but two, in order to actually get into the Polish culture and have people start breaking down their walls and accepting you into maybe their friend group or what may have you, it's going to take time. That's the other thing. Like most Polish people, they aren't unfriendly, but they aren't just like super keen on just meeting anybody and everybody who comes and talks to them kind of thing. But with all that said, I think this is a pretty good overall overview of what dating in Warsaw is like and what you could expect, depending on the type of guy that you are, if you want to date the legitimate hotties. And if you don't want to date legitimate hotties, then I don't know what you're doing in Warsaw, Poland, because you could do that in a bunch of other places that frankly would probably be much less work and much easier. I should also say that if you're willing to do all this stuff in a place like Warsaw, there are probably other places in the same region with prettier girls that will probably be easier slash less work, and you'll probably have more value in some of the surrounding countries, which I won't get into for the purpose of this video. But if you've watched some of my other videos, you can probably figure out what those countries would be. Now, with all that said, we are going to wrap up this video. Thank you for watching. I truly appreciate it. I will see you guys in the next video. And as always, hit the like button first on your way out. And as always, peace. Much love.